55 years, wow. I've been lucky enough to share this journey with you for 53 of those years. And amazingly, it's gone by in the blink of an eye. This campus has been your second home for all these years. And I know how much the faculty, the staff, and especially the students mean to you. They will truly be missed. Although a little apprehensive, I'm excited and looking forward to the next step in our journey into the future. We have indeed been blessed. Congratulations and much love. Hi John, you are retiring. It's both a happy occasion for you and I'm glad that you will have some time to yourself. And it's a sad occasion for us because you would be leaving us and I will especially miss my biggest mentor in life. You taught me how to be for others. You taught me how to value and serve other people. The joy of doing that and always mentored me. Whenever I had a question, I was confused what to do. You were always there. So that's the part I will be missing most. As an associate dean, I still go to you. But I hope you will have a wonderful retirement and enjoy your life. Thank you. Congratulations, John, on 55 years at LMU. We're really excited for your retirement and we can't wait for all the free time you're going to have. So you can watch the kids over the weekend while we get to go away and escape for the weekend. Congratulations. We love you. Uncle John, we hope you enjoy your retirement. Congratulations, Congratulations from, from the Northern, Northern California, California Page, Page family. family. Happy retirement, Grandpa. I hope you had a good past 50 years teaching, and I hope you have enjoyable times in the future. And hi, Grandpa. Uh, teaching is the most selfless thing someone can do. You've done it for 55 years. I can't imagine any other page working that long. So congrats, good luck, we love you, and Loyola was lucky to have you. Happy 55 years, Dad. Uh, congrats, an amazing accomplishment. Most importantly, congrats on the legacy you left behind with all the students you impacted over all the years, plus the impact on the Page family. Ready for the next chapter? Turn the page. We love you. Uh, John, it's been a long time since we were classmates in Father Cooney's physics and Professor Maddox Cletty's uh, electrical engineering classes. Since then, uh, you've gone on to distinguish yourself by being a professor here at uh, LMU and training a lot of young electrical engineers. It's kind of ironic that here we are 60 years later together for uh, our, both of our retirements and I'm happy to have taught with you and the staff for the last 10 years. So I wish you well in your retirement and go Lions. Hello Dr. Page, this is a message from the Thielen family. Michael Thielen, I graduated BSME from LMU in 1998. And there's a couple things that you taught me that I will surely teach my four children. One was from um, Dr. Mulvihill and you in Engineering 101, the power of positive mental attitude. Kids, what's one of the most powerful things in life? Positive, positive mental, mental attitude. attitude. Good, good, good. And the other one, Dr. Page, your personal story. When I learned about your story uh, at the Jonathan Club a couple years back, perseverance. I was so moved that night, and I will always remember uh, your story your story, and how to teach my children about perseverance. So for those things, I'm blessed to have had you as a teacher. Thank you. Best wishes in your retirement. Hi, my name is Ocean. Uh, I'm a senior electrical engineer major. Uh, one thing I remember the most about Dr. Page is the way that he will humble you every time you say something wrong in his class. Uh, sometimes he even goes through, go to like the depth of personal attack. He will tell you, oh, hey, uh, I thought you learned that in elementary school. How did you pass all your classes? It's, just, it's, uh, it's incredibly humbling. And we will always take that in our job, uh, in our future, because there are going to be so many smart people like us. So thank you, Dr. Page, to teach us how to be humble as an engineer. Hope you have a good retirement and enjoy the rest of your free time. Thank you. 
Hi, Dr. Page. This is Lucia. I'm reporting from Boston, Massachusetts. And I'm just like your emails, I'll promise to make this short and to the point. So I'll just mention one memory. So I was working on one of your homework problem sets and I was stuck on this one problem. I've tried, you know, different methods and I still couldn't get a solution. So I, I decided to go to your office and to be frank, I don't remember the problem or the solution, but I do remember one thing you told me before I left your office that day. And you told me, Lucia, you need to believe more in yourself. And that hit home for me. It hit home because, um, because it came from a person that I admire. And until this day, those words have remained with me, right? And they've served as a motivation for me to get up after I've fallen, to keep going and not give up on myself nor my dreams. And so with great joy, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you, thank you for your, for your service, your time that you've spent at LMU and with all your unique ways in pushing students um, to be the best engineers that they can be. First of all, Dad, I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. I can't believe it's been 55 years. Amazing accomplishment. I have such fond memories growing up at Loyola, playing in the lab, as well as going to school at Loyola and spending time with you. I just can't believe it's been that long. Um, I'm looking forward in retirement that we get to spend more time together, that you get to come out and spend time with the kids. So no more homework to correct, no more Saturday working. So we get to spend more time together. So I'm looking forward to that. Love you so much. Hi, I'm John's brother, Mike, the third 11 pages to graduate from Loyola Marymount University. John, think about this for a second. Without me, I don't believe you would have survived 55 years at LMU. As you might recall, I was the one who convinced you and your new bride, Anne, to chaperone my fraternity snow trip to Big Bear in 1967. Huh, what a weekend. That weekend exposed you to everything that you could possibly encounter with any student or situation that may arise during your teaching career. John, Chevy Pages congratulate you for being a great teacher of men and women for others, and we wish you and Anne the very best for all future endeavors. Enjoy. Hey there. To those that don't know us, I am Andrew Page, class of 2011. And I'm Megan Page, class of 2014. While neither of us were engineers, it was always great having Uncle John nearby on campus. Because the internet exists, we thought we'd take a look online to get a sense of what his students thought about his class. Uh, and we'd like to take a moment to share some of these reviews. Dr. Page will push you to your learning limits. And when you hit them, he'll be there to help you. As long as you don't ask stupid questions. If he asks a question in class, just look away. Eye contact will make him call on you. Not that he doesn't anyway. He can be intimidating, but actually does have a hidden sense of humor. I finally saw him laugh after two years and was shocked. Uh, took his class and hated how time consuming it was, but after completing an internship and taking upper division classes, this class definitely saved me. This is a challenging class, but if you put in the effort, it is so rewarding. And the best for last, rather difficult, but extremely intelligent professor can be very intimidating, but simply show up to office hours and give him a chance to get to know you, and you'll see he's a genuinely nice and friendly guy. I'd take another class taught by him in a heartbeat. All in all, it seems safe to say that Uncle John has left a lasting impression on all of his students one way or another, and we'd like to take a moment to congratulate him on 55 incredible years. Hi, Dr. Page. Thank you for your 55 years of service to LMU and for teaching four members of my family, including me, my husband, me, my little sister, and my mom. We'll be sure to pass on everything that you taught us to the next generation of engineers. Congratulations and happy yeah. retirement. Ah, no, ah. Hi, Dr. Pay. Oh, hey, John. You might remember me as a student back in the early 80s. I never told you this, but uh, you were one of only two teachers I remembered as a student as being real masters of their craft, you and Graciela Limon. So congrats on your, on your re retirement, but please come back as an emeritus so that uh, we can work together for many years to come. One of my best memories of Dr. Page was when he gave us an impossible homework question. Uh, me and my friends stayed up 
till about two or three in the morning trying to come up with some solution for it and eventually we came up with something that wasn't the right answer and uh, turned it in the next day and he kind of let us in on the joke that it was an impossible problem. Uh, and I kind of took away that you know there might be problems that we can't solve uh, out in the engineering world, um, but it's good to try and maybe you know make a breakthrough. Dr. Page, this is Bill Boyd, class of 1983. Uh, congratulations on your retirement. Uh, you made a strong impression on myself and my wife, Helene, graduated in 1984 uh, in a positive way. And as a testament to that, our son Trevor uh, also attended LMU as an electrical engineering major. And I want to thank you very much for all you've done for the university and for my family. Hi, Dr. Page, this is Trevor from class of 2011. Uh, you made a, certainly a big impact on me as well, and I, uh, I enjoyed our many conversations and especially your humor. You definitely made my college years memorable. So now that you attended LMU, or Loyola at the time, as a uh, undergraduate and then followed on and uh, became a pro professor there for another 55 maybe years, now you were finally ready to enter the real world. Congratulations. <laughs> Enjoy your retirement, Dr. Page. Or not, I mean, that's up to you. I can't wait for you to teach me all about electrical engineering. And I've been thinking about some projects that we can work on together, such as this three-dimensional um, projector, and it projects things in 3D. Come in. Good morning, Dr. Page. Uh, I, I don't understand the frequency response function. Can you explain it to me, please? So you're having a problem with the frequency response function of a fixed linear system? Yes, I don't understand. This is easy. If the input uh, is sinusoid, then the output is also sinusoid. And the only difference is that the amplitude is multiplied by a certain factor and the phase is, is shifted by a certain radiant. So mathematically, you can see it as the integral of the input and with the impulse, impulse response. That's calculus. I just can't teach you that. Thank you, Dr. Page. One day I go to Dr. Page's office and I have a question on a circuits problem I've been working on. And I put the circuit problem, the circuit on the table and he says, what's, what's the issue? And I said, I, I can't make the voltage balance. I don't see how. He turns the circuit on its side and then turns it around again and, and says, sometimes you just need to change the way you're looking at the problem and for what reference point you're thinking about it. And I completely understood the circuit problem right then and there, but what I didn't see was the huge life lesson that Dr. Page gave me right then. Thank you, Dr. Page. John, greetings and congratulations from Ohio. We are all very impressed with your 50 years of dedicated service to Loyola Marymount. We know that the students and the faculty benefited from your passion, dedication, and carefree attitude. Well, that last part I might have uh, exaggerated a bit. We hope now that you can focus on a very fulfilling retirement. Congratulations again from Ohio. John, I just want to thank you so much for being such an inspiration to me. You've been a great mentor, not just to me, but to so many of our colleagues here in the college over the years. You have been a solid rock for the college, for our students, uh, and for all of our programs. We're going to miss you so much. We want you to make sure you take care and to keep in touch. Congratulations on your retirement, Grandpa. I'm sure everyone at LMU is really sad to see you go. I know you've done so much for them over the years. Um, but enjoy the party the rest of the semester, and I'll see you this summer. Can you please teach until I get to Loyola College, please? Congratulations, Sean, on all that you've accomplished over the last 50 years. We're all so proud of you, and I can't wait to see what adventures come next. Happy, Happy retirement, Dr. Page! John, before you leave, you have to give us that secret recipe for the potion for looking so young. You're a treasure. Thank you. Congratulations, John, for your 61 years at LMU from 1956 to 2017. Congratulations, enjoy your retirement, and God bless. Mm. Oh, hello, John Page. Rumor has it that after four and a half years as a student and 55 years on the faculty, you're finally going to graduate. Yippee! I hope you land that job you've always dreamed of. I hope you learn to sleep past 5 a.m. each morning. 
I hope every day feels like a weekend and that your days are filled with long bike rides with your lovely wife, Anne, and golf with you, one of your crazy brothers. You deserve it, John. On a more serious note, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you've done for my, for me and my family over the last 20, 21 years. I've really found a home here in Los Angeles and at LMU, and it is due almost entirely to your efforts alone. So thank you for that. I also want to let you know that I'm going to miss you dearly every single day. Public safety comes through each building in the morning, unlocking doors, and every morning I'm gonna think, oh, here comes John, finally dragging his butt into work at 6 a.m., only to realize, no, that's not John. He retired. He's not coming in today. And I'll miss you all over again. But hey, I understand. 55 years, it's a long time. I just wanted to let you know that you'll be missed. So, thank you, John. Happy retirement. God bless. Mike out. Oh, wait. One more thing. We came up a bit short in the fall schedule, and I'm going to need you to teach that 8 a.m. section of circuits. I hope you don't mind. He's been like a grounding force for me, reminding me of my family while I've been here. And it's crazy to think that I'm just one student that he's taught after 55 years of being here. I hope that he has a wonderful retirement and thank you Dr. Page for all the help and the work that you've put into my success as well as others. 46 years, John, I've been here 46 years and when I interviewed for this job in 1971, you were one of the folks who interviewed me. You'd already been here half a lifetime. And uh, I will remind you that when I actually uh, took the job and arrived in August of 1971, our regular department chairman was on a, on a, a sabbatical leave at the time, and uh, you were acting chairperson too. And uh, so you were my first chair and uh, uh, my first mentor. And uh, I hope I don't embarrass you too much by telling, to, telling people that you had broken out in a horrible skin rash at the prospect and uh, I just always assumed that that was because you had to deal with me. So I hope that the ensuing 45 years have improved on that a little bit, and I'll have much more to say to you in private and over dinner, I hope. Congratulations, I'm so sorry to see you leaving. So uh, I'm wishing you the very best in retirement, John. Uh, you and I are friends and neighbors, and I'm sure I'll be seeing a lot of you. Dear John, congratulations on your retirement. I wish the years ahead be filled with happiness. At times, you will miss the students and the university, but know that the students, the department, and the university will miss you even more. You have been more than a teacher. In the true sense of the word, you have been an educator, an exemplary educator. In all matters with the students, the department, and the university, you have been honest, fair, and fully supportive. Know that the future for all of us will be changed because of what you accomplished at Loyola. Personally, during my first few years on campus, your many years of association with the Jesuits and Jesuit education enabled me. Your friendship, your example in the classroom and with the students in general, plus the opportunity to not only observe but talk to you, helped ease my entry to Loyola. I thank you for this. So, it is now time for you to take out your golf clubs, dust them off and enjoy. Incidentally, I believe that many cruise ships have practiced greens and driving ranges. God bless Paul Rood.